Hello everyone, this is Dan Sparse and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2, a Game of Thrones mod. Um, in the last video, Princess Rhaenyra defeated her brother Aegon and her niece Jahera, I think it was. Was it Jahera? Yeah, it was Jahera. And took the Iron Throne for herself. Ooh, she even has Blackfire. Nice. Um, now that has caused the, <laughs> caused the Seven Kingdoms to sort of completely fracture. Um, while I was never part of the Seven Kingdoms, um, the Rock, the Trident, and the Stormlands are all now independent. All three were supporters of, uh, Aegon, and so it seems that they just decided to go their own way. Um, and the Reach was having a rebellion of some sort but it seems to have um, subsided so the reach seems to have stayed normal all right so let's just uh, go ahead and get started and I was thinking that <clears throat> one of the goals for this let's play will be probably to see how long we can stay independent how long we can stay not part of the Iron Throne um, like, I don't think I can just swear... Yeah, I can't swear fealty to her. Um, but I think she does have a deser She does have a claim on me, I think. Yeah, she does. Because I'm de jure part of the Iron Throne. But if I can last a hundred years, Dorne will be not be considered that. So, let's see if we can last a hundred years. Um, I am also uh, trying to fabricate claims in the Stepstones. Um, that will be a fairly easy place to expand into once I start getting claims on the things in there. Um, and I would like to expand into, you know, the Reach and the Stormlands, <clears throat> but I think I'm going to have to do that through more diplomatic means. Um... Well, at least with the Stormlands, I might be able to, if there are any claims. Um, but it, it might be like a generation or two before some people start dying for those claims to start popping up. Um, so yeah. And also, a very interesting thing is that because this version of the dance didn't end up with so many people and so many dragons dead, um, there are dragons floating around. There are dragons, there are dragon eggs... Like, look at all these different dragon riders. There are a bunch of untamed dragons. There's wild dragons, and there's dragon eggs. So there are there are all these different people running around with dragons. Um, so that increases the possibility that we may be able to get a dragon at some point. Because... Um, I've had it before where the dragons just end up sometimes flying away after their masters die and they end up roosting somewhere. I remember in a a, ver a, a game I played uh, as Aegon, like I think maybe like when I was uh, maybe about 100 or 200 years into it or something, uh, I was playing as I think like Aegon's grandson or great grandson or something at this point. Um, one of the dragons that was in King's Landing that belonged to, I think, like my brother or my sister or something, uh, sh he or she died, and the dragon flew all the way to Casterly Rock. And then suddenly the Lannisters had a dragon, and they started getting dragon eggs. And it was like, what the hell? <laughs> and I couldn't do anything about it, about them, because then they were the only people who could truly threaten me. Alright, I'm starting to think Janice might fancy me, my courtier. Sure, I'll make a move. More children, maybe. Now, what I wanted to also do, um, I was thinking is, it's good to be the prince, nice, is to get rid of some of these, um, some of these extra ladies in my court. Um, let's see, any religion, any culture. Okay, so let's get rid of Denise. Oh no, that's my wife. <laughs> Can't get rid of her. So apparently I have no women in my court. How about men? Married... No. My master of coin, 
Trevor, my kinsman, wants to get married. Oh, I didn't even notice you wanted to get married. Well, let's find you a wife. Is there anyone? Oh, you know what would be cool is if I can marry a Dane. A Dane or a man, Woody. So I'm actually going to... Let's let's just check to see. King's Grave. Are there any man woodies who can get married? No. A woman accused of witchcraft in Gaston Gray has been dragged before your court. Several witnesses have seen her performing dark rituals in her secluded hut, possibly related to recent crop failures. She claims innocence and falls on you to determine her fate. She will burn at the stake. Throw the fiend in the dungeons. What nonsense is this? Release porn. Um, I'll throw her in the dungeons. I've never done that before with this, so I want to see what that hap what happens. Okay, Karenna. Okay, so she's in the dungeons. Um, so there seem to be no man woodies available. How about any Danes? Are there any Danes available? Uh, it doesn't seem like it. Let me go back to this way. Let's see. Trebor. Um, if there are gods, why is the world filled with hardships? The gods have a plan for everything and everyone. God is as clueless as I am. Um, let's see if we can get zealous. Nice. Okay. Very good ruler. Exceptional ruler. Nice. Okay. Uh, we really want Trebor to get married. Let's, let's stay focused. Are there any Danes? Nope. Are there any man woodies? No. All right. Are there any geniuses? No. Strong. There is a strong, but she's chaste. That's not good. Any huges? No. How about attractive? No. All right. Let's just find the lustfuls. Let's marry him off. Here. I'll marry you off to her. Oh geez, minus four hundred prestige. Ugh. Is there anyone better? Like anyone with an actual house? <laughs> Blackwoods. Nope. There's like nobody else. That's pretty shitty. Treasure of Honey Holt. Um. Huh. Minus three hundred for marrying a relative of Sir. What if we just did this? I can marry him to no. Sorry, buddy. I know you want to get married, but I can't find anyone really good for you. Eh. Uh, uh. Whatever. I'll just give you to Amore. It's your prestige, not mine, right? <laughs> how, is our, how are our children doing, anyway? Once the autosave ends. Oops, oops. Cool, okay. Um, four years old, okay. <clears throat> when they get to be around uh, ten, I'm going to want to squire them. Well, I can just squire them. I'm a knight. Yeah. Cool, okay. Is my lover pregnant? No. It's a shame. All right. Cool. Got some money. What can I do here? That's weird. Embargo. Ah. Do I have anything here? There's Tyrosh and Mir. I don't have anyone else who I can embargo. That's weird that I can do an embargo on people who I, uh, who aren't even in my, uh, don't have trade posts in my lands. <clears throat> my liege, since I arrived in Sunsphere, there has never been a shortage of soldiers reinforcing the troop station here. Nice. Oh, I want to. I should probably go ahead and build some private farms. Get those going. Okay, so Stokeworth went back. Cool. I wonder who is, who's who's in the white book right now. 
Eric Cargill. Aw, oh, so Eric and Eric didn't kill each other. <laughs> Wait, was slain by King Aegon. Wait, this is the bat. This is this is Aegon's Eric. Oh, that is weird. So Aegon's Eric lived. Rhaenyra's Eric didn't live. Interesting. Okay. Uh, let's see who do we have. We have Sir Jaharis, Jaharis Valerion. Oh, so one of oh, there's a dragon rider in the King's Guard. That's crazy. Okay. Um. So well, Jaharis Valerion. Oh. She took him out of line of secession. Ah, that is something I discovered you could do. Um, I did a test game as Queen Rhaenyra, because I, I was just curious what would happen if, like, you won, if there was a way to get rid of your uh, Valerion children, and you can you can force them all to join the King's Guard. They will do it. So Lucerus is now the heir, but he's not a dragon rider. Then you have Joffrey, who's also not a dragon rider. Prince Aegon. Interesting. I wonder if what she's gonna do if if these guys are like gonna get sent to like a uh, the wall or become maesters or septons or something. All right. Then you have Renfrid Thorn, who's imprisoned by Lord Lucan of Wayfarer's Rest. That's weird. Harold Dark, Laurent Marbrand, Damon of Sunset Keep, and Darian of Starpike. All right. And Tristan Cole. Oh no, it's Tristan Celtigar. What happened to Tristan Cole? Or no, Kristen Cole. That's his name. The Kingmaker. There he is. Was executed by Queen Rhaenyra. Eh, that makes sense. Don't want. <laughs> don't want the person who. Uh, who basically started the whole thing still alive. <clears throat> I love seeing how the this game changes everything. Travelers bring rumors of fire and blood. They say that dragons live once more, and Lucerus Valerian now rides Tyraxes. All right, so he now now he does have a dragon. All right, that's cool. Way to go, uh, Lucerus. I would like to take Sunstone, please, at some point. Please. I also think it would be cool if I could uh, change religion. The Faith of the Seven is kind of boring. Uh, call for trial. Ah! What's happening here? A party of soldiers signed the banner of Lord Archibald of Brimstone recently set up camp in the middle of a field belonging to a farmer in Sunspear. According to the farmer, the campfire spread out of control and his entire crop was reduced to ashes. He has brought the matter before your court and demands compensation. Lord Archibald is to compensate the farmer. The fire was a divine act. No one is responsible. I should pay the farmer out of my own coffers. Lord Archibald? Let's see. What am I? I kind of want to roleplay this a bit. So what am I? I am deceitful, lustful, patient, craven, and zealous. So, the fire was a divine act. No one was responsible. <laughs> you are no longer content to rest on your laurels. The problems facing the, your realm are legion, and clearly no one can fix them but you. Gains the trade ambitious. Nice! What a great trait to get. Alright, so we need to call someone for trial. The witch. Yeah, I'll call it a trial. Karenna has demanded a trial before the court. Master Dickens shall oversee to ensure justice is served. She begins to present her defense, but the court did not seem impressed. She cut a very unconvincing and nervous figure. Master Dickens stuttered, stammered, and incoherently rambled in front of the accused, who rebuked his questions and accusations with ease. Unfortunately, his argument was so boring that many at court appeared to almost fall asleep. And she's guilty. I will have her head on my spike. She'll serve the crone for the rest of her days. Um, I'm going to make her a silent sister. I've never done that before. She's going to be a silent sister. There we go. Uh, your Septon, Septon Gandry of Sunspear, reports that Sir Garrus of Towers the Sun is humbled by your 
Nice, okay. <laughs> Prince Marantz. Is my lover pregnant? No. Weird that Luceris isn't married, or at least betrothed to anyone. Prince Amond, one eye. Where is he? He's at court in Dallos. Oh, he's all the way in Mentaris. Huh. So the, the Targaryens seem to have fled across the Narrow Sea. At least some of them. They've essentially returned home, I guess. Some of them, anyway. Let's see, who else? There's Daron, yep. Daron is there, too. Let's see, where's Jaharis? Yep, he's there. Maelor. Princess Jahera is, though, imprisoned by Queen Rhaenyra. Hmm. Lorien Lannister. One of these Lannisters got like completely fucked up. I think it was Thailand. In the dance. Like he served as Master of Coin and he got blinded and gelded. It was pretty awful. <laughs> Uh, it is time for me to choose how I want to educate my son. Um, I'm going to have him groomed. Do I want him groomed for command? Good with numbers. Educated at court. Um, I'm going to say be good with numbers. I want... I want my characters to get more money as much as possible. <clears throat> I'm surprised that no one has rebelled against Rhaenyra, or that Rhaenyra hasn't tried to take the Stormlands, the Rock, or the Trident. Well, she can't really attack the Baratheons, because they are related. They're technically allies. The Tullys, though, have nobody except their own vassals. She could attack them. Today my aunt Cedra asked me for a fief of her own to govern. Uh, you are not ready yet. Seriously? You're like an old, old lady. You're not getting... You're not getting squat. Is there a sword of the morning? Let me check. No, there is no sword of the morning right now. Huh. There's Starfall. Dawn. Dawn is a cool little picture, I have to say. Alright. Is there anything I can do? Can I hold a feast or some affair? Let's hold the summer fair. Make some people happy, I guess. Let's go ahead and reset this um, fabrication thing. Uh, it's Ragged Fur and Sorrowful Eyes made the bear look pitiful, but when its trainer started playing his flute, the bear started dancing. The dancing bear and his trainer traveled from fair to fair, and this year they came to Summer Fair in Sunspear. Keep him on a short leash. If he does anything, I get suspicious. Intrigue plus one. The jester who performed during the Summer Fair ran around in his silly hat with bells, and before I knew it, he hit me with his bobble. Everyone laughed at this and his jokes, or rather his insults. It was rather funny. Sure, let's get more prestige. 
Don't wanna don't wanna make people upset. Hmm. Let's see. Davos, Lord of Stormlands. Um, diviners, allow them to stay, like, banish them. Well, I'm zealous, so gotta banish them. Sorry. Um, I wonder if there's any claimants to anything that I can invite into my court. Uh-oh. Uh, job well done. Things have been built. Uh, the practice of the first night is fully legal in Dorne. It is? Oh, it is. Christ. And you are not adverse to practicing it from time to time. One peasant who you had such an encounter with has had a child, and by all accounts it looks very much like you. This is not my child. Yes, I acknowledge it as mine. I shall legitimize it. Um, who is it? Miles. I acknowledge it as mine. Miles Sand has arrived in your court. Miles Martell is now known as Sand. Cool. Three children. <clears throat> Just need two more. I didn't realize that first night was allowed. Do people not like that first night is allowed? No, they don't seem to care. Summer Fair is over. Gain five prestige. Let's go ahead and build some basic defenses, just in case. War doesn't seem to be anywhere near at the moment, but you never know. It's good to be prepared, at least. Now, does my daughter have anything special about her? No, she doesn't. That's a shame. Okay. Uh, my prince, my schemian and sensors run fruit. I have discovered a plot where Princess Denise seeks to kill Sir Jairus of Tower of the Sun. This, this cannot stand, wife. Why are you wanting to kill Tower of the Sun? Who is it you want to kill? Why? Why do you want to kill him? Uh, I'm going to imprison you, lady. <laughs> imprison my wife. Call for trial. Let's see what happens. Master Dickens shall interrogate her. Fell asleep. Guilty! Okay. Uh, she'll serve as a silent sister. <laughs> oh, great. No one crosses the Obrin. The Obrin? Obrin. What am I talking about? Okay. So now we get a new wife. Awesome. Okay. Let's see. <gasps> dragon. Dragon. She has a dragon. I think I think we have to. We have to. Let's see. Dragon Rider. We have to take Helena. We have to. Yes. 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 We're going to marry a Targaryen. And she's going to have a dragon. Please say yes. Please say yes. Th this is this is not even a question of of her stats or whatever. She has a dragon. She's a dragon rider. We're gonna get a dragon in Dorne. Yes. Ha <laughs> ha ha. Yes. Okay, so we got a dragon. Ah, some. She has three children already. I did not realize that. Uh, there is no one to pay it. Um, host a wedding feast, lose a hundred gold. Yes, all my vassals will be there. I have to. I have to show off my wealth for my wedding to a Targaryen. Oh, what's happening here? Up, oh, there's wars. What's going on? 
attacking King Elmo. <laughs> is there anyone on King Elmo's side? Nope. King Elmo is all alone. Well, that's that's not going to be fun for Elmo. The best part about a wet, holding a wedding is organizing the whole event. I will spend lavishly. I don't want to spend too much. I don't. Do I want to go into debt? Yeah, let's just do it. I will spend lavishly. <laughs> um, I hereby invite you. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna have any entertainment though. <laughs> well, I don't like you either. So how dare you? Message is a call to arms. Oh, would I mess up my wedding feast? Cause that would suck if it did. I don't think it will. So I will join. I don't think that will mess up the wedding feast. Let's increase the speed three. That's so awesome. I have a dragon. What? Ill? No. 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 And I can't use my. <laughs> I got another claim when I can't use it. Um. I need to switch. I need to switch out this rulership focus right now. I wanna... I need more health. I don't wanna be ill. I don't wanna die. Um, the wedding day is upon us soon. I'll be wed to Princess Helena in sight of all the lords in Dorne. The guests have finally arrived. Awesome. Uh, and now for the feast. Faded upon us, my wife Helena is pregnant. Awesome. Got exactly what I wanted. Dreamfire has arrived in your court. That must be Helena's dragon. Yeah, it is. Nice. What a nice looking dragon. <laughs> Nobody's gonna fuck with the Martells now. The feast is winding down, and now only the bedding remains. A fine tradition. Ah, oh, that is so awesome. What a great, what a great way to end uh, this segment, this little, this this part. Uh, the morning after the wedding feast has come, and all the lords and ladies are finally making their way home. All agree it was a fine celebration. Awesome. And I'm alive now, so I'm not sick either. Great. What just happened? I got a thing. I think I'm going to keep going until... Merritt's Martell lacks a, a guardian. Okay. I shall educate my child myself, of course. Uh, my acute budget has allowed a smuggler's ring to appear in Gaston Grey. Uh-oh. By upholding the virtue of patience, God teaches us to... Or the gods teach us how to show mercy to sinners. What great way to show mercy than to forgive the greatest sinner and pray with him for their salvation? Uh, sure. I will. I will offer them salvation. Sir Traber came to the sept with tears in his eyes. We spent the night in prayer until the sun went up, praying desperately for the mercy of the seven. Non nobis, whatever that means. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's so great. There's a dragon in my court. Now all I need for it is to have eggs. Oh my god. If it if it lays eggs, oh. Oh my god, can I build Because there's a dragon in my court, can I build a dragon pit? Um has 750 gold. One of these must be true. Has the trait dragon rider has the trait owner of a dragon egg. Okay. Okay. So I can build one. I just need either a dragon egg to be a dragon rider or and and 750 gold. Oh my god. I love this. I love this. This is so great. I wonder if the child will pop up before my timer runs out. I don't think so. So maybe that will leave that as a surprise for the next video? Yeah, we'll leave that as a surprise. So, 
until next time, folks, this has been Dan Sparse. Like, comment, subscribe. Leave me any questions if you want to know anything. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Steam. Links are down below. Um, also, if you have any ideas of where you want this Let's Play to go, let me know as well. And until next time, bye!